The queen has arrived. Queen Nigel, how are you? I'm feeling fantabulous. And pregnant, and here you are still working hard. Do we know what we're having yet? Like we were in a relationship? No. Not yet. Um, Actually, my manager knows. So you don't want to She's doing know. the gender reveal. <gasps> oh my gosh, how cute. She's my sister. Okay, so is this who we're talking about? Yeah. Okay, so Castell, we gotta get like a photo or something because I want everybody to see who knows what's happening with the baby Yeah, we're right doing now. a gender reveal, I think. Very soon. September 15th for sure. Oh my God, I'm mm. so excited. Well, I'm really excited. I really want a girl, but if I have a, another boy, I'm still really excited. Cause yeah. I don't know. I already know how to work with a boy, but if I have right. a girl, it's like a bonus. Like, <laughs> you know? Yeah. How is it having baby number two? Do you feel more calm? Do you feel a little bit more obviously well versed than the first um, time you were pregnant? I kind of know what to expect now. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I don't know why I'm yawning. It, well, you're having a baby, so you don't know what. <laughs> um, I don't. I, I I didn't know what to expect at first, but now I, I kind of know what to expect. Right. I am still a little like I'm scared all over again because Aww. because um I don't ha I don't have a natural I can't give natural birth. Um, I have to have another C-section. So, like, I'm just scared of when I go mm -hmm. to the doctors. I know I'm not pushing. I know I'm going straight mm -hmm. in there, and they and I get put to sleep, and they cut me open. So that's what I'm really scared of. I just, I just worry about like health stuff, right? You know, I don't have kids, so you're informing me. You're helping yeah. me understand. Okay, so they are. Was this just something that they told you because of your body that okay, we just you're gonna have to go get a C-section? Is okay. So when I first, um, when I first had my first child. Um, I actually started off pushing. I was I was doing the vaginal thing, but right. uh, we seen his head, just a little top part of his head, like right. the very top. But he kept I don't know he somehow he kept getting sucked back in, like, and then so his heart rate was going down, my oh, heart boy. rate was going down. So he had to do an emergency C section. I don't know if it's because I'm built too small or narrow, right? But usually when you have one C section. You know, you like it's better to just have the Keep rest. Going. Yeah, because like it's it could be really risky if you right. try to push. Were you worried about, you know, sharing that information with the world that you were having another baby or is it at this point just I was worried, yeah, yeah. because I mean I know I knew what was coming. Like I knew that pe like, you know, people are gonna say a lot of stuff. Like they're gonna bash me, they're gonna say I'm dumb. They're gonna say I just got out of my out of a marriage last year, they're gonna say that my career just started and right. that I'm barely with my child now. But, like, truthfully, I just have to realize or had to realize this is really my life. Mm. And so whatever, like, even if, say if, like, it, it does in the long run, like, I realize that, you know, it wasn't a good time or I have to go through those consequences. Right. Not nobody else. So even if I do go through the struggle of stuff, like, Y'all not going through it, so it really doesn't matter what people say. Like y'all don't even care to really about me. Y'all just want to know my business. Mm -hmm. So, truthfully, I, I I don't care anymore. I'm really happy. I'm excited, and I just can't wait for my son to have a sibling. Oh my gosh! Now your song "Medicine" it's an older song, but it's starting to blow up. Obviously, yeah, for mainstream and radio or whatnot. So when you wrote this song, was it about someone? Yeah, it was about my ex. Yeah, yeah, he knew. He knew. <laughs> You're like, yeah, he knew. It's fine. Mm -hmm. So most of your songs, are they coming from a place of experience or is it just things that maybe your girlfriend? No, or experience. Experience. How like, about Do Not Disturb? Is a, yeah. Yeah. Real life stuff. Everything I write is uh, actually what I've been through. I never like, truthfully, I don't like to write stuff that I haven't like went through because I feel kind of fake. Right. But I might I might write from a different perspective, even if I don't go through something. Just just so like I can still, you know, have things that people relate to that I haven't been through. But actually, I've been through a lot. So, yeah, it's not too much. I haven't been through. Do, do you, I guess, have feelings when people just refer to you as, OK, you're a YouTube vlogger. This is who you are. And they don't take your music serious. No, because actually people do take my music serious. Right. So um, even if, and if, even if even if they didn't. Uh, I know my purpose. Like, right. I'm really confident. But what's wrong with that, though? Like, I guess to me, I'm like, so what? That was your platform that put you on. But I, 
it was like I always was a singer. YouTube is just some. Basically, I'm a singer before YouTuber. Mm. I just started YouTube, and that's what got me. Yeah. No, you know, noticed. But I was always a singer. So, what? One of my best friends. Her name is Uni, and she loves you. Mm -hmm. Loves you. Mm -hmm. So she was also going through a breakup, mm -hmm. and she looks at you and was like, "Look." She got through it, and then now look at her life, and she's doing yeah. it. And do you know that's the inspiration that you put out there? Like, are, are do uh, people tell you that? Yeah, people okay. do. People do. A lot of women say, "Oh, you, you taught me I can get through this mm -hmm. and this and that." And truthfully, like, I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful because that's a privilege. Like, some people don't even get noticed. Some people can't even inspire others. And facts. I, I'm just happy that in some kind of way, shape, or form, I can do that. Yeah. Was it hard for you to go through everything publicly, the divorce and the cheating and everything? Or was it just like, OK, at least I could use this to help other women? I think it. The, I think the the hardest part was over um, after I got cheated on. Did you know it during the relationship at all or was it only after it was all said and done? Um, Do you remember that time? Do I? You, are you asking me, did I know that was going right. on all along? Yeah, the whole time. Actually, I mean, like, okay, so I knew that, like, maybe it was DMs or text messages. Or, okay. I didn't know if it was, like, full on. really, like, full-on meeting up, having sex. Jesus. Right. I didn't know. I really, really trusted that it wasn't. Right. You know, because I know every once in a while when you're young. Like, I right. I don't know. I feel like men just, men gonna be men. But right. I don't, like, it's a difference when you really go put yourself in a situation in that situation and you meet up with the person and you now you giving them everything that you gave me. So, yeah. 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 It's tough. I, now that you are where you are in your life for other women, young girls who are watching you, would you say, Hey, give that cheater another chance? Or are you more on the nope? Once a cheater is always a cheater. It, it's a tough one. Truly, I don't believe that once a cheater, always a cheater. Okay. I feel like men are different. Okay. I feel like some men, uh, they will cheat and they'll keep on cheating. Right. I feel like some men they'll cheat and they'll they'll learn from it and be like, you know what, this is not worth losing my family. Or I feel like sometimes <laughs> it's the woman, the certain woman that come into your life that you that they change for they change themselves for right like you could have cheated on all your exes but this one girl like you not cheating on her right like you could have had your share of cheating but now it's, you're oh, not yeah. yeah that's not who you are anymore yeah yeah i feel like i feel like they can change it's just it's just about um i feel like it's really mainly about like respect you know right. if you i feel like this if you're going <laughs> to cheat and you shouldn't. But if you're going to cheat, the least you can do is not embarrass right. the girl that you with. Right. Like, keep it on a low where nobody know about it. I feel like these men cheat with these women. And they, they make these girls think that mm -hmm. they can take the, you know, their main chick's place. Right. Like, if, if they just a piece of meat and you got to tell them that. Like, look, me and you, this is just sex. What it is. Right. Yeah, like, this is just when, you know she acting up whatever like but you can't replace her like you know what i'm saying like i'm not it's really sad because it shouldn't be like that but it's the right. least like it's just really disrespectful when you can embarrass and allow the other woman to talk to right talk crazy yeah talk crazy to her like show up to the house yeah, it's like, crazy like right. put that in check you absolutely know what I'm saying? who do you think is better at cheating men or women uh women definitely men yeah, are no. stupid when it comes to cheating <laughs> They so stupid. They don't know how to hide it. They don't know how to they don't know how to balance it out. Right. Women definitely are better at cheating, but I feel like they cheat. Truthfully, I feel like they cheat less. Yeah. I do. It's and I think it's more emotional. Cheat. Yeah, it's hard for and when we cheat, that guy can potentially replace right. you. <laughs> but when when a man cheats, he's just cheating with a girl that's all yeah, like it's a whatever. Right. Yeah. See, I think when women cheat, it's a real bad sign. Oh, no. It's, it's a terrible sign. It's over. It's yeah. damn near over at this point. Because his pride is just gone. Yeah. <laughs> Messed up. Yeah. How's the album coming along? What's it looking like? Um, EP and okay. because I got an album coming. Right. An uh, album, album. But the EP, um, I, I love it. Um, everyone else seems to love it, too. They love the different songs on there, like Butterflies mm -hmm. and mama's hand bad boy um 
I feel like it got to show another side of me because like when medicine first came out and then it, then karma they like man this girl been heartbroken but like i also have songs on there like about actually being in love and you're in love right now yeah so, this is nice this yeah, is so, good so um and then like just uh, being a mother you yeah. know the mama's hand Aww. i feel like people get to see a different side of me so who do you want to work good. with like um, if you could put your own bucket list together of people that you would love to get in the studio with mm, along your career, along the journey. Doesn't have to be this moment, but just I wanna say Cardi B for sure. Um Kaylani is my girl. Ugh, love um, Kaylani. I love her so much. Her Yes. Her is amazing. I just I love the real stuff she talk about. Right. Um, those are good. Those yeah, are good those are names. good. It'll be it'll be dope to work with like LMA too. Oh yeah, because she's like upcoming and she's like real. It'll be nice to work with her. I feel like there's more of a support group now amongst women yeah. in the game. I don't know why I feel like this, but at least in the R and B world, yeah, I feel like it's the new. I, I feel there's more support. Yeah, it is now. I feel like we the new. The new Monica and in like Brandy, Brandy, Maya, yeah, yeah. That, we that, need it just, a, like we yeah. like the new generation of those. Like the, I'm excited. Yes, yeah, so that's I, like my favorite. Yeah, like I grew up on that, so I'm excited to see this happening right now. Do you have you been starstruck? Has there been anybody that's come up to you been like, yo, I really like medicine. I really like your music. Um, starstruck, and you're just like, damn, they, they know my work. Um. Okay, they didn't say exactly that, but they right. know who I am. Uh, Chris Brown. Nice. Uh, I was like, I was like backstage. Uh, I think we were at his concert. We we're walking. He was taking a picture, and he knew. What's yeah, and and me and Clarence nice. was walking together. And he was he stopped both of us, and he was like, "I really like what y'all doing, and this and that." Um, that's a nice who feeling. Else? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say like starstruck, but people that's bigger that's noticed me like. Ray J and Princess. Nice. You know, they both. Right. Um, who else? I met I actually met her. Right. Um Kaylani. I met Kaylani too. I love Kaylani. Yeah. Who else? It's someone else that was listening to Medicine that was really shocked. Oh, not Medicine. They were listening to Butterflies. Courtney Kardashian. Nice. <laughs> yeah, she was listening to my stuff on her. How did you know that? Did she like did she like tell my you? my supporters catch everything? <laughs> So like it's right. been it's actually been like a number of people I can name but I just can't remember. Right, Bryson Tiller's daughter was listening to um, my stuff. Lil Wayne's daughter Regine. Listen, you've come a Carter. long way. Section yeah. eight to right now. Oh, this yeah. is this is a journey. It's, it's been crazy. a long. Yeah, and you know what? It's just the beginning. Are you excited for this journey? I'm really excited. I'm just you know I'm more so excited to just prove myself to myself. Mm. Like, not prove myself to other people, no. but just prove myself to myself. Like, okay, yeah, my career just started. I got pregnant. I got a, I got a son, you know? But watch me do this. Like, watch me win a Grammy. Like, I just can't wait. Yeah. I can't wait. And that's what, you know what? I, I love that you're unapologetic about it because women, you know, it's like either your career or your family life. Yeah. And it's not fair. We can do both. And yes, th this is why I, I'm I'm happy for you that you're unapologetic about that. I love what Cardi's doing. Of course, Serena is the GOAT. Mm -hmm. And we see, I just love this. You know, yeah. I just feel like for such a long time, women were shamed when they decided to have a baby. Right. No, and it's not fair. It's not fair because like we, we, we should be able to have both. We should be able to have our careers and have a family. Like you don't always got to be a stay at home mom or just right. working a nine to five. Like you can, you can really do both. Absolutely. And it just really, I feel like, it's like a, a sort of like empowerment. Right. You know? It's an empowerment for the women. Of like, course. It's breaking people's stereotypes and people's just what they think, what society think, where right. they think mothers should be. You either be a mother or you do this. That's like, it. That's crazy. You know, I could be a star too okay. and a mom. <laughs> you know? Where does Nija come from, the name? Nija, um, actually my father, mm -hmm. is. his name is Naji, well, Muhammad Naji. Got it. But, um... It's like Arab. Okay. Arab. Um, and I actually, my mom never told me this. She just said I was named like, first of all, my first name is Queen. Okay. So, okay. My, that's my whole name. Let's just. I love this. My name is Queen Naja. My first name is Queen. My middle name is Naja. Queen, I was named after my grandma and also because of fact my mom said I was going to be a star. 
which it i don't know it's happening um naja came from my father not naji right they, they say nagi like okay over got there it. yeah um but i looked I, I looked up the name meaning because i wanted to know really what my name meant right um it means success what are the chances yeah is yeah. that what what's written here this, no this is um love yourself first this yeah. is nice. I really like this. You know, I, it's funny. I got this tattoo when I didn't love myself. Mm. <laughs> and how did you get to this point? It's a hurdle, but it's so inspirational. You just got to go through stuff, truthfully. What was that moment that you realized, I need to love myself? When I just kept accepting stuff over and over again, I found myself, like, crying. I found myself just losing myself. Right. Um not having drive anymore and not just not being confident looking in the mirror mm. you know crying comparing myself to other women trying to be like other women right you know for someone else and not mm. myself so yeah that's when i realized it like what is what's going what's what's going on with me let me get back to me yeah okay so a little advice to the young ladies who are watching right now would you recommend them to go through their booze phone their booze phone. Yeah, if they feel like maybe I just want to make sure they're not out here stepping out on the uh, relationship. I went, I, I went through his phone, like not not Claire's. I yeah. went through, but I always found stuff. I, mm. I would say, huh, I would say what's done in the dark is gonna come to the light anyway. So just, you know, if you suspect something, yes. maybe you can ask him. Okay. Hey, um, can I see your phone? <laughs> And if he like trip, trip, like what you need to see my phone for, and this and that, like I just want to know, like, are you doing anything? Like right. I could be wrong, I could be wrong. I just want to see if you ain't doing nothing. Let me see your phone. Right. Okay. So and ask, then, yeah, okay. maybe so he don't feel like you snooping, but I I snooped before and I found stuff, but <laughs> yes. it just be hurting you when you look for stuff and oh, actually yes. find it, right? It's the worst. Yeah, I was I would be like ask ask him like, right, is anything going on? Yeah. Well, then can I see your phone? I'm sorry. It's it's a reason why. Right. I'm peeping stuff like right. what's what's going on. <laughs> and if he really, really like, if he really not doing nothing, guess what? He gonna be like, "Babe, take my phone." Right, for sure. Look, Here it you is. Feel stupid it's fine. Here's a password. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, should you share body counts when you're going out on the first couple dates? Uh, I don't know. Like, if someone's like, "Well, how many people have you been with?" I don't. I don't. I don't know. If you I really, think it's a if weird you feel question, if you feel but, confident, yeah. Uh, if you feel confident, well, I've shared my body count with with um. My ex-husband. Isn't that weird, though? I shared my body count with him literally after, like, uh, I think it was, like, after three years. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So we in this for a while. But I, wasn't, but I wasn't, like, uncomfortable with my body count. Right. So I didn't care. Okay. Now, if, if it was, like, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. 15, 14 people, right. like, I'd be like, no, let me, uh, <laughs> let me lie. <laughs> let me divide this. No, I don't, I don't feel like, I don't feel like that matters. Like, if you with me, you're not. That was then. This right. is now. You can't, right. you can't judge me off my past. Like, am I going to ask you how much women you didn't slept with and been up in? Because I know right. you've been. <laughs> you know? So, yeah. I mean, it goes both ways. And how about for paying the bill on the first date? Um, I believe that as a woman, mm -hmm. pull your card out. Okay. And test them. Yeah. See if they're going to make you put your card back. I, I would say you want to show that you're independent too because Absolutely. the men are attracted to that. Yeah. You pull out your car, you blow their mind. Yeah. But just see if they let you pay. Yeah. A real gentleman, I feel like, would be like, no, nah, put your car back. I got you. Yeah. If they ask you to come and like it's their, they initi uh, initiated it, I would expect them to pay, but I still, still pull out, just pull out my car. Hey. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, just, just to see. Just a little fake pump. It's like all you right. better not ask me out on no date in. And <laughs> what would you do? I'm not going on another day. Yeah. I mean, we could do 50 50 if right. you tell me up front, like, hey, we can go, you know, or I'll just ask you, like, you want to go half? Yeah. But, but I mean, it's just like at the end of the day, it show me what kind of man you are, period. Mm. And then that determines whether I go on another date with you. Exactly. I love this girl talk with you right yeah. now. I'm so glad you stopped by. I know. You need a donut right now. Yeah, we were I need just a talking donut. about this. Listen, thank you for coming by, and I'm really happy for you. Thank you. And just continue being unapologetic. I will. Of course. And have fun. I can't wait to see what the baby's going to be. I can't wait either.
<laughs> we're all looking at your manager. I can't September wait. September 15th. Yeah. Hopefully. If you decide to share it with the world, regardless. No, if, if when I do, when we do the gender reveal, it will be streamed live oh on boy. YouTube. This is going to be so So cute. everybody can tune in for my gender reveal. Hey, congratulations. Pray that I get a girl. <laughs> Well, yes, we're praying for you. Just healthy baby, healthy baby. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you. Of course.